Yo, what's up guys? So in case you haven't heard, Sony revealed a new Spider-Man game at their E3 2016 press conference. The game is coming exclusively to PS4 and is being developed by Insomniac, who recently put out the new Ratchet and Clank and previously worked on Sunset Overdrive on Xbox. So I decided to make a trailer breakdown and kind of give my thoughts and some speculation about the game. A lot of the early questions about the game have already been answered in an interview, so I'll make sure to leave a link if you're interested in checking it out. So moving on to the trailer, we start with some shots of New York. I think the world looks beautiful and I like how varied all the buildings look. They all look very detailed and the variety of skyscrapers with small buildings should make for some fun free roaming. Down here we have a little billboard that says Osborne, but we'll get a better look of that later. Way in the back, we can see a construction site with a big crane. That got me thinking, what if we could slingshot out of it like during the final scene of the Amazing Spider-Man movie? Insomniac feel free to use that as an idea. Going down to street level, we see a lot of traffic and a lot of people walking around through the city. The city seems very busy and there seems to be a lot of movement going on. Next we get our first look at Spider-Man himself. He has a new suit which seems to be influenced by a lot of different things. Most notably are the eyes which are very clearly inspired by the one seen in Captain America Civil War. This originally led me to believe that maybe this was a movie tie-in and maybe we were getting an early look at the Spider-Man homecoming design, but it has since been confirmed that it is not tied into the MCU. This is Insomniac's own story that isn't connected to anything, and I'm very excited about this. Other parts of the suit, such as the size of the spider and the amount of blue on his legs, remind me a lot of Ben Reilly's Spider-Man suit. The bottom half of the spider logo also reminds me a lot of the logo shown in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 because of how long the legs are. You can see that Spider-Man has his web shooters, and I don't know if having the web shooters will affect gameplay. Maybe you play a level where they get broken, or maybe you get ambushed and you don't have them on you. I've always found the aspect of the web shooters interesting, because Peter could theoretically lose one of his main abilities in mid-combat if anything were to happen to them. Overall, I really like the design that Insomniac came up with. I like the big white spider logo, I like the MCU eyes. I think it's a really nice design. They did a good job of making it feel like Spider-Man, but still making it their own. Next, we get a quick taste of what Traversal will look like. Many other Spider-Man games tend to fail in web-slinging in my opinion, having them stick to the sky and making it very restricted. I personally think the web mechanics in Spider-Man 2 for PS2 were the best in any game because of how fun it was and it made you feel like you were swinging through New York. Hopefully they do something similar to that and by the looks of the trailer we see that the webs do in fact stick to buildings which is a good sign so far. In this same clip we get a better look at the billboard that says Osborne for mayor. So maybe we'll be seeing some green goblin in this game or maybe this is just an easter egg. Who knows. Next we get a scene where he runs through a coffee shop. Insomniac said that they wanted to flesh out traversal and this looks like a cool way to do it. In the coffee shop we can see some newspapers that say Daily Bugle on them, so maybe we can see J. Jonah Jameson in this game. With any luck he'll be voiced by J.K. Simmons, but probably not since he's too busy being Jim Gordon. Next up we get a little easter egg on the window that reads 1962, which was the year of Spider-Man's first appearance. I'd also like to point out that this car door is open, and that made me imagine Spider-Man jumping in it Saints Row style. Or maybe he goes in through one end and goes out the other. I'm also pretty sure Peter owes this lady a new laptop. Next up we get a shot of Spider-Man taking down a car. When I first saw this, I was thinking it was one of those car takedown side missions that seems to be in every other open world Spider-Man game. You know, the one where you land on the car and punch it a whole lot and then dodge bullets every now and then. However, now I think this is actually a main mission and not some random side mission slash random event because of how much the trailer focuses on taking down this convoy. In this shot, we also get a hint at who the villain or one of the villains will be. By looking at the mask, it is very similar to the mask used by the guys who work for Spider-Man villain, Mr. Negative. I'll have more evidence on him later. Next, we get this really nice shot of Spider-Man jumping off a building. Next, we can see Spider-Man taking down some random thug. This animation reminds me a lot of the glide kick from the Arkham games. Maybe Insomniac is doing something similar. Maybe when you're falling, you can pull yourself in for an instant takedown on unsuspecting enemies. That's my guess on what this is. Now we're back to the guy in the car flipping over some cop cars. In the background we see a building with a sign that reads Audrey's Finest, which I'm not sure if it's a reference to anything or not, so let me know if it is. More interestingly, however, the other building says F-E-A-S-T, or Feast. Feast is a soup kitchen which is also a front for Mr. Negative and his gang. So this is even more evidence towards Mr. Negative being the villain or a villain in the Spider-Man game. Next we get a really cool shot of Spider-Man which reminds me a lot of Spider-Man 2's train scene. We get a very small look at some of the combat in the game. We get a shot of one of the takedown attacks, and we get to see Spider-Man interact with the environment and throw something at an enemy's head. We get another really cool shot of Spider-Man doing some acrobatics, and I can't stress this enough, this game's animations are amazing. If we take a look on the sign that the crane is holding up, we can see some letters. 
From another angle, they are clearly a C and a P, with just enough space in between to spell out Oscorp. So assuming the sign was ripped out of the clearly damaged building next to it, it's safe to say that this is the Oscorp building, which again, hints towards the Green Goblin being in this game. Finally, we get some more action shots of Spider-Man running up exploding buildings and riding car doors. Then we get the game's logo, which looks really nice and really clean. Unfortunately, we don't get a title for the game or a release date. All we get is a hashtag. Overall, I think this is a really exciting trailer. I'm really excited for the game. Originally, rumors said that Sucker Punch was working on this game. However, now that Insomniac has officially been announced as being the developer of this game, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda prefer it over Sucker Punch. Sure, Sucker Punch makes the Infamous series, which is a really popular superhero game, and one of my personal favorite games, but I feel like Insomniac can line the tone of Spider-Man. They have the experience making funny games like Sunset Overdrive and Ratchet and & Clank, so I feel like they can nail the quips down perfectly. They could also go more serious because they have practiced doing resistance. I also have full faith in them accomplishing their goal for the traversal since Sunset Overdrive's traversal is really good. Something I really want this game to have is side missions similar to the ones in the Arkham games. In the Arkham games, the submissions are little subplots, each one tied to a different Batman enemy. I would want something similar for this game, Maybe add like Kraven or Mysterio, that'd be pretty cool. I prefer that over them doing something similar to the previous Spider-Man games, where the other villains were somehow part of the main story mission, but weren't really relevant to the plot. I would prefer them to have a little side mission subplots instead. Hope you enjoyed my trailer breakdown. Let me know what you thought of the trailer. Tell me about anything I missed, and make sure to leave a like, comment, and share this video with your friends. And click the subscribe button for more videos. Bye bye